Good morning students. Welcome back to EVS class. Hope all of you are doing your EVS work. Before we start today's class, let me ask you something. What is one thing that all of you look forward to? Can you guess? Yes. It games. Am I right? We all love playing games with our friends, parents, brother or sister. So today we will start with a new chapter. Chapter number 8 Games We Play. Children, please open your book to page number 50. In this lesson, we will learn about different types of games and how games improve our stamina. Children, what do you mean by stamina? It means how energetic we feel without getting tired. We will also learn how games help us to stay fit and healthy. So tell me children, why do we play games? Just imagine if you did not have a games or a PT period in a school timetable, how would you feel? Will you be happy or sad? Yes, you all will be sad. You all will feel disappointed. After a long study time, you all want to play games with your friends to relax and have some fun. So let us understand what is a game. A game is a structured form of play. What do we mean by structured form of play? Whenever we play games, there are certain rules which we follow. We need to have a minimum number of players there are certain things that we require to play that game so it means that we need to have a structured form of play it is played for enjoyment we play games to have some fun to enjoy it teaches us rules and challenge Games also help us to stay fit and healthy. So here you see different types of games. For example, chess, cricket, football, basketball, ludo, carom, scrabble, badminton. These are examples of few games that you see. These games can be divided into two. Indoor games and outdoor games. Let us understand what do we mean by indoor games and outdoor games. The first is indoor games. As the name suggests indoor, it means the game which can be played under covered area. Like room are known as indoor games. Indoor games are played under the roof. We play these games in our houses. We do not require large area to play these games. Why do we play indoor games? We play indoor games to keep ourselves busy in our free time. Usually you play these uh, indoor games with your friends, with your families. For example, suppose uh, you uh, because of rain, because of uh, bad weather, you are not able to go out and play. So you play indoor games to keep yourself 
busy to have some fun some of the examples of indoor games are chess zenga carrom scrabble ludo monopoly now what do we mean by outdoor games again as the name suggests outdoor it means the games which are played under open area or in a playground are called outdoor games these games are necessary for the growth of the body outdoor games help us to make our muscles and bones strong and usually we require many people to play these outdoor games now there are few outdoor games which we say these are indian outdoor games these were the games which were created by our country these are hadudu hadudu or the other name for it is kabaddi and the second is guli danda guli danda where you see you have a stick and a small uh, stick which with which you play this game now there are other games also for example basketball basketball is the most famous outdoor game which was created as an active sport to be played in the winter time some other uh, games uh, outdoor games are football tennis cricket badminton hopscotch now let's see the importance of outdoor games or why it is important to play outdoor games we inhale fresh air and feel refreshed whenever we play outdoor games in an open area we get fresh air and we feel more energetic relaxed refreshed so playing outdoor game is very important second our body is also exercised children we have already studied that how playing outdoor game is a good form of exercise when we play outside we jump we run and because of which our muscles and bones get strong third they help in developing our personality and team spirit let's take an example when we when you uh, when we play cricket so cricket has how many players yes cricket has 11 players you know, some of uh, the uh, players are bowlers some are fielders some are batsmen and to win the match of cricket each player has important role to play and they all have to play in a team to win the game we learn the value of cooperation and unity games also help us to be obedient and discipline other recreational activities what do we mean by the word recreation recreation means any activity done for enjoyment let's see some examples of recreational activities which we enjoy which uh, by which we have fun usually these activities are done in our free time some of the examples are listening to music watching tv gardening reading books knitting writing stories or poems coin collection stamp collection dancing coloring 
or painting. These recreational activities are also called fun-filled activities because it refreshes our mind, body and soul. Now let's revise what we have learned in today's class. Thanks to remember, we play different games. We all play different types of games, right? To stay fit and healthy, we should play. So, games keep us fit and healthy. Games are of two types. Indoor and outdoor games. Listening to music, playing games on the computer are some other forms of recreation. Recreation means recreation means the activity that is done for enjoyment. Now let's do the book exercise on page number 53 and 54. Open your book to page number 53. A. Check the correct option. 1. Which one, which one is not indoor game? Ludo, chess, cricket, or table tennis what is the right answer which of them is not an indoor game yes cricket is not an indoor game cricket is an outdoor game second which one of the following are outdoor games what do we mean by outdoor games outdoor games are the games that are played in an open area which we play in a playground. So, cricket, football, hockey or all of these. What is the right answer? The right answer is all of these. Third, play games to be fit and healthy, sad and weak, sad and strong. So, games help us to be fit and healthy. Fourth, indoor games are played under a roof, water, fire or light. So the right answer is indoor games are played under a roof. B. Identify all the activities shown below and match them correctly. Here are few pictures given and names are written over here. We have to match the picture with the name of the game. So the first one is Ludo. Second is Football. This one is Karen. Fourth is hockey. And the fifth game is chess. C. State two or false. Here few statements are given. We have to see whether the statement is true or false. First one is hockey is an indoor game. Is it true or false? It is false because hockey is an outdoor game. Second, we should always play. Tell me children, we should always play? No, we should not. It's again a false. Third, Ludo is an indoor game. Yes, Ludo is an indoor game. Fourth, 
we should play chess in the playground we should uh, we play chess the chess is played indoor so again it's a false the last one is games keep us fit and healthy yes it is true games help us to be fit and healthy so children your homework is to do book exercise on page number 53 and 54 you have to do this these book exercise in the book itself and also draw and color one indoor game and outdoor game you can also draw any of your favorite indoor game and outdoor game or you can follow the video
थैंक यू